So you wanna just get in there and mash everything up. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So in this week's video, I'm showing you how to make these menthol and eucalyptus shower steamers. These are the perfect shower steamers for an at-home spa-like experience. Guys, if you wanna see how easy it is to make these menthol and eucalyptus shower steamers, well, keep watching. So the first ingredient that I'm going to be using for these shower steamers is baking soda. What I'm going to do is go ahead and sift the sodium bicarb out. And that's why I love this little strainer because it is large enough for my bowl and it can just actually sit here while I pour in the baking soda. I used to actually use a very small little sifter, but this one actually works out really well. And then as you can see, there were some big clumps. So what you can do is actually go ahead and take a little spoon and just mash this up to help get out any of the clumps that are left in here. And now we have our first ingredient. One of the other dry ingredients that I'm going to be using in this recipe is citric acid. Now that those two ingredients are good to go, let's just move on to our next ingredient. So the green clay acts as a hardener. It's going to make our shower steamers stay hard and firm so they won't be crumbly when you pull them out of the mold. So I'm adding in my green clay into my citric acid and my baking soda. So if you don't have green clay, you can use kaolin clay or any other type of clay. And now I'm just going to stir it in before moving on to the next step. So guys, this next ingredient is what is really going to make our shower steamers stand out and give us that really nice nose opening shower aromatherapy shower experience. So these are my menthol crystals. So I will give you a closer look. And of course they just look like crystals, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and crush these up so that when I get to my next step, the process will go really smooth. And this mortal and pestle comes in handy with these little menthol crystals. Uh, it just makes it really easy to crush them up. Super quick, and that way it does not take as long for them to melt. And these give off such a nice scent. So if you like peppermint or you like menthol, like these just really go ahead and open up your respiratory airway. And I absolutely love the scent of these. I did an unboxing video and you can actually, I will place the link in the description box and I'll also place it at the top of the screen and you can um, click on that if you want to check out my unboxing video where I talk about some of the ingredients that I use in my DIY skincare. Okay, so I'm all done crushing those up and that did not take long at all. So now you can see my menthol crystals. Now, instead of looking like little crystals, it sort of looks like snow. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step. So for the shower steamer recipe, I'm going to be using sunflower oil. So I'm going to go ahead and measure out about an ounce of sunflower oil. And the carrier oil is just going to help bind everything together. That is why I'm using carrier oils. And sunflower oil is a pretty light oil. Now that I have my sunflower oil melted out, I'm going to go ahead and remove my scale. But what I'm going to also do is go ahead and include my menthol crystals into my sunflower oil and let the sunflower oil heat up a little bit and the menthol crystals will melt. This mortar and pestle just makes it really, really 
easy to crush up anything. Um, these menthol crystals as well as like any herbs, like any cloves or anything that you want to use in your DIYs. So I'm just gonna give this a stir. And now I'm going to take my oil and my crystals and just sit them in a water bath on the stove for just a little bit and let them warm up. So while my menthol crystals and my carrier oil are melting and warming up, I'm going to go ahead and measure out another ingredient that I'll be using, which is polysorbate 80. So the polysorbate 80 is actually going to help with dispersing color. And this is about, it's just a little bit, so, so about 0.5 ounces. So in addition to the menthol that I'm including, I'm also going to be including some essential oils into these shower steamers. So in total, I'm probably going to add about 40 drops of the essential oil. So I'm going to make a mixture of lavender, eucalyptus, and lemongrass. So that's going to give me a really amazing experience in the shower. And this is my essential oil mix, and it smells lovely. Now I'm just going to go ahead and check on my menthol crystals and my carrier oil. So my oils and my menthol crystals are now melted and warmed up and this smells delightful. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and include my essential oil into this mixture. So now I have my menthol, my sunflower oil, and my three essential oils, and I'm going to go ahead and pour it over into my shower steamer mix. And it's probably a good idea to go ahead and get in there with your hands so that everything can mix in really well. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. So you wanna just get in there and mash everything up because you want your shower steamer mix to be damp. So we didn't add in too much of the oils. Um, however, we added in enough so that we will have an amazing smell once we get in the shower. And so it's starting to look really good. And it definitely feels damp, it's not too wet, and you can see that it's starting to stick together. And this is exactly what we want when we're making shower steamers. So make sure you get all of the ingredients off of the side of the bowl as well, just to make sure that all of the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients are mixed together. And if I haven't already said this, this mixture smells so amazing. I cannot wait to use these shower steamers. I was actually going to go ahead and add in some color to these shower steamers, but the green clay has actually given my mixture a really nice color. So if your mixture does start to get a little bit dry, then you can go ahead and use some witch hazel or you can use some alcohol, but I do have witch hazel here in this spray bottle, so that's what I'm going to use if my, if my mixture starts to dry out a little bit. So the mold that I'm going to be using is just this plain mold, so I'm gonna jazz it up just a little bit by placing some flowers in the bottom of the mold. So these little flowers I think will go really great with the green color. And then I also have some little calendula flowers that can also really work well for this particular shower steamer. So I'm gonna be using these two flowers. And you can break them up in very small pieces and also if you're worried about whether or not these flowers are going to go down your drain or clog up your drain, cover your drain with a little strainer and you will be good. Okay, so now that we have our flowers, we can go ahead and start to put in our shower steamer mix.
So as you can see, I have my mold, all of my mixture mashed down into my mold. So now I have started to take my shower steamers out of the mold. Although we did use clay, I sometimes feel like they can still be pretty fragile. So just take your time. And it also depends on the mold. Like this mold is pretty easy for them to come out of. So I just turn them over like this. And again, this mold is pretty easy for them to come out of. And then I'm just going to give it a little push. I actually love the color of these. The orange with the green and the yellow is just a really nice soothing color and these will be excellent for the shower. And these are our shower steamers. Look how beautiful that came out. And they smell amazing. So guys, if you like this video, I have other videos similar to this with free recipes over on my website at beautyrove.com. I will drop a link in the description box below. Also, products and ingredients that I use to make these shower steamers can be found in the description box below. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!